one of the things, as well as achieving smarter working maturity, yeah. uh, which was a really big thing for us, um, not many government departments actually achieved this, um, that uh, we were then recognised across the wider civil service in two different awards, wow. one for learning and development and one for project of the year in terms of our focus on people and culture. You know, most importantly, what we found was when we went into the pandemic, you know, both our leaders and our staff were confident to be able to work from home and to collaborate effectively. And that was that was huge. I think in those days, do you remember, there were people that were real disciples. You know, thought, you know, we can't apply all of this, can we? Let's just think about what matters and what's going to really benefit our programme. Exactly. And, and like you said, we're people focused. So it was about having that quality of conversation. Yeah. So for me, what really worked was when we had fortnightly retrospectives. And we were, we were doing that sprint planning and then we were actually making sure that the whole team came along to say what's happened yeah. and why yeah. and what needs to change. We were all empowered to be able to make those suggestions and, you know, have that continuous focus on how can we be better. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because I think people change management isn't like project management. We're not ticking tasks off a list. We're not moving in a linear line we're having to constantly evolve because people don't behave like machines you know no. human beings you never quite know what they're going to do Beep.